Shalom, shalom. In today's video, we're talking about as a man, if you continue to ignore the signs of a crazy woman and she wreaks havoc in your life, you are not a victim. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. You know, it is my desire that as a man, you never have to go through some of this stuff that I'm talking about. But if you are a good man, there's a high probability that you're going to have to deal with this. And I'm hoping you don't ignore it. Man, I will tell you that through my process of trying to find a wife, you know, there was women that I dated, man, that we went on, you know, three, four months, everything was good. And out of the blue, in anger, you know, a woman will swing on you. I'm talking about closed fists, swing on you because she didn't get her way. Three and four months of consistency and then swing on you. You know, I've seen where this type of woman will, will cry and, and, and beg for you not to leave and all of that. But men, you have to understand, this is a cold game out here. It is a cold game. Don't even expect for this system to be fair you know and in that moment man I had it in my heart to get going all bets is off any marriage talks anything I ever said I was gonna do all of that was out the window crazy women will beg you to stay with them through their craziness you never loved me I never expect you to swing on me, you know? And as a man, you have to be able to be disciplined enough to withstand these women egging you on. Oh, you, you, you probably wanna hit me back. A real man would hit me back. I'm telling you, don't take the bait. Do not take the bait. Some of these women in their anger will be like, you ain't nothing but a B-I-T-C-H. That's all you were. You probably like men. They're doing this to try to get you to engage in their level of crazy. I'm telling you to avoid it. Cut sling load. It's not worth it. You know, men out here, there's women out here that they will pry into your financials and then tell you that they mean nothing by it. You know? You've got men out here that have had women that they've entertained uh, jump ship and have stolen money. You know, uh, women playing games when they don't get their way or you don't acquiesce and capitulate to their every uh, desire as a man. And they, this is even in marriages. And these women take all the money out and move it around. These women don't find nothing wrong with playing with your livelihood. Here's another one. As a man, if a woman, you need to take mental note of this, pay attention to what I'm saying. If a woman threatens your job, I'm telling you, you need to cut sling low. If she threatens your job, well, if you don't, I'm finna go up there to your job. Bro, I've had women say that. I don't know not one man that I've ever came across that in his anger thought about, man, I, I'm going up to her job. Men don't think like that. Men aren't vindictive like that. But I've definitely had a, a handful or more of women say that. You know, man, I, I take this back. 
you know, back when I was probably about, probably about in my early 20s, you know, I had a woman who I broke it off with because she was plum crazy. This is a time that I was, man, my career was jumping, man. I was booming through the ranks. And I was about to obtain the next rank. This woman calls the post headquarters of the base, has this fabricated story to pretty much be nothing more than a smear campaign. And what happens? I miss out on my promotion opportunity. All to come to find out, you know, Later on down the road, leaders, I knew she was making this stuff up. I knew none of this stuff wasn't true. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't gauge of how drastic her reaction to being cut off would be. She had already shown she was crazy. I was like, man, I gotta, well, I gotta get up out of this. I got to get up out of this. Man, my commander called me there. He said, yeah, man, we're going to have to look into this. And until things calm down, we're going to have to take that promotion off the table. I was like, what? Without no, here's the thing. A woman is so, a crazy woman is so manipulative. You know, when we think about this society, oftentimes a man is guilty before proven innocent. And the saying is innocent until proven guilty. See, a woman knows how to manipulate and sway the minds of the court of public opinion. And this is why I'm telling you, as a man, if you sit up and entertain a crazy woman, don't be surprised when you catch a charge. Don't be surprised when they're calling you in there, letting you know, hey, they're gonna have to let you go because your, 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 your foolishness outside of the workplace, which really ain't even your foolishness, has made it into the workplace, you know? I'm telling you, and it took me a good uh, six months, you know, in order to gain that traction back from the fabricated stories and lies. I'm telling you, man, when a woman shows you her crazy, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. A woman playing with your job because you don't do what she says and wants to start a smear campaign, I don't give a dang if she apologizes, uh, you know, says she'll never do it again. A lot of these women do it again. And here's the thing. Once they have smeared you, jacked up your job, left you with damn near nothing, this is when they're gonna smear you even some more. You a deadbeat, horrible provider, all of this. When behind the scenes they was they was working the strings, pulling the strings, making this stuff happen. You gotta think about it, man. Here's, here's, I want you to think about it. Think about how many women get on social media and air they man out. Oh, he ain't no good and, oh, you know, he ain't gonna never, never, uh, you know, prosper in life. God don't like ugly, all this stuff. All this stuff. He's the worst, he's worse than Satan in this smear campaign, but guess what? Give it a little bit and watch. Some of these women and some of these men accept these doggone crazy women and you'll be sitting back saying, dang, if he was the worst thing, you know, walking around, why would you get back with him? See, man, there's a female therapist out there that reveals how much she has caught women lying women lying coming into therapy and she said man I made the mistake as a therapist you know especially in being a woman and not taking account for how manipulative women are how strategic they are in their lives and she said oftentimes these women will paint their husbands to be you know the worst men and the husband would come in there and fill in the details and then it would blow her mind because all of a sudden these women would all of a sudden want to stop therapy. Didn't want to show up anymore. Why? Because now the truth was being revealed. I'm telling you as a man, do not ignore the signs of a crazy woman. You sit up here and go back to her time and time again. Don't be surprised 
when she strikes, when she really strikes, don't be surprised if nobody is out here supporting your victim statement. I don't know how she could do this. Well, she already showed you the evidence that she could do it. And she was just building up the confidence to do it. Man, there, there, there's a man out there that truly loves a woman, but the woman that he's in love with, the woman that he's providing for, the woman that he protects, if she doesn't get her way, she will jump ship and try to damage and smear his name in the process. Close to the Yacht Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.